Let's learn how to make a Google Meets code so a student cannot enter a meeting without you starting it first or rejoining a meeting after you've ended it. So if you click on the waffle iron in the top right hand corner and then click meet, this is where you can click join a meeting. You can create a unique code. If you have a common last name like Smith or Garcia, make sure you put some numbers at the end so you're not entering another teacher's meetings with the same last name. You can either click join now or close out the window, but your code will still stay the same and you can enter it later. When you're ready to start, you just go back to Google Meets page and you type in your code and it will start the meeting. For a student to join, they need to be logged into their Alding account. If your student tries to use your code without you starting the meeting, it will not start the meeting. It will give a message of, you are not allowed to start this meeting. To remove a student that hasn't left, you click on the upper right hand corner on the people. Then you click on the student, click the down arrow next to his name, and then click the circle with the line in the middle, and then click remove. Then you can end the meeting. If a student tries to rejoin the meeting by typing in the code, it gives them a message of the meeting has already ended. Now we're going to add a notification to Schoology so they know when to log in and join the meeting. If you copy the link meet.google.com, then we can put it in our Schoology updates. On Add Materials, Add Page, name it Links. Then you go into Insert Content, Add Image and Media. Pick the images that you would like to add. Resize them and put them how you would like them. Click on the image, click link, then put in meet.google.com. Nothing after it. And click link. Once you've done that, you type the code next to the link so they'll know what to type in when they click on the link. You can add links to the other images. Make sure you would scroll down and we're on the green dot, you click unpublish and then click create. Click on your unpublished page, highlight the images and click control C or right click copy. Then click on updates, control V or right click paste. You can resize it if you would like. Then click next to post, click the bell and then click post. Your link is now live. When they click on the Google Meets icon, it will take them to the Google Meets website where they then can click the plus sign and type in the code to your class.